Speaking of the governor, he has officially decided for Louisiana to opt out of the summer EBT program, which provided low income families with additional funds to feed their children during the summer. As many now fear where their next meal will come from, News 10's Zane Hoag spoke to food banks around Acadiana ready to help. With Governor Landry's decision for Louisiana to opt out of the summer EBT program, many families are left wondering where their children's meals will come from this summer. However, dining halls and food banks across Acadiana are here to help. While Landry says the state already provides plenty of food options, including the summer food service program, Juanita Lewis runs St. Francis Diner, the only soup kitchen in Iberia Parish, and says her team is already seeing an increase in the amount of people needing lunch each day. Last Friday, I think it was, we did 375 plates. I know with the kids being out of school during the summer, here they could get a plate of food for lunch to provide till there is supper. Ben Broussard with Catholic Charities of Acadiana says their food banks are also keeping up to make sure no one has to go hungry. Uh, we move about 750 supplemental food bags per week all throughout Acadiana. Summertime is a time where we get more phone calls. Summer is a harder time for families who are already experiencing food insecurity and so um, it's definitely a busier time for FoodNet as well. With the governor maintaining several summer programs and the combined efforts of food banks and soup kitchens, Broussard and Lewis remain optimistic that stomachs will still be fed when school lets out. It's South Louisiana. Uh, we can argue about a lot of things, but putting food on the table for a family uh, who, who's in need, that's something that we can all agree on. Though we get higher call volumes during the summertime, um, we also have so many people who step up and say, how can I help? Um, and so that's what's great about Louisiana. During the summer, the kids are going to be here, so that's where we're going to see our greatest impact. But we're, we're going to make it with God's grace and mercy. Now, because food banks and dining halls are donation-based, they continue to hope that more people will show up to lend a helping hand for those in need. I'm Zane Hoke for KLFY News 10.